I've just come back from my local supermarket and I wanted to show you and share with you how I get bargain orchids. I get orchids that are really, really cheap. You'll notice they're not in great condition and that's the key here. So I'll go to the manager and I'll say, those orchids you've got there, uh, they say seven pounds, but you're never gonna sell them, mate. Um, in this case, the guy tried to tell me that he'd repot them and they wouldn't be a problem. Um, but I pointed out that the flowers take, you know, probably six months to come back, so that was a silly idea. So in the end, he gave them to me for two pounds. So instead of paying about $12 for them, I paid about $3. And I know that I can bring these back fantastically. So the first thing I'm going to do so that the plant can redirect its energy back into producing new flowers, because these ones, are, they're just past their best. They're not going to look great again. Uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll cut off the, uh, the old flowers. And what I'll do is I'll cut them above the topmost node, which you can see right there. Okay, so this spike here has two nodes. So I'm just going to cut it off above the topmost node. I'll cut about an inch above and what will hopefully happen is a new spike will come out of that top node. This is a really cute uh, green Microphalaenopsis orchid and it's actually got two spikes. One spike is smaller, one spike is larger. And I'm going to do the same thing here with both spikes. So I'm going to cut them above the topmost node. Now on the smaller spike this is possible uh, because the, uh, the spike is in good condition. On the, uh, the taller spike however the topmost node has a, a new spike that started to come but then has died. So I need to cut one spike, oh, sorry, one node lower on the spike. So I've taken off the, the small spike and you'll see I'm cutting the second spike quite low. So I'm cutting that an inch above the lowermost uh, node on the spike. And then this is the third Microphalaenopsis, a white one. Uh, and again, same thing. Um, it's actually got three nodes on the spike, so I'll be cutting it above the topmost node. Um, and then hopefully we'll get another spike growing out here. So about an inch above, just chop it off, and then that's uh, the job done. Now I also want to inspect the leaves and roots. So this first one here, the leaves feel very dry and limp, um, but a few waterings and they should be okay. And if we have a look at the roots, the roots are very dry and shriveled as well. So this uh, this particular orchid just needs a good watering. The leaves will come back probably within sort of three to four waterings. The middle one here, um, the, the leaves feel great actually. But when I lift it out to have a look at the roots, I notice something quite interesting. And that is what looks to be a, a flower, which has been mixed in with the bark. But um, it is actually a live flower that's growing from a spike that's within the bark. So I'll have a look at that again in a minute, and I might try and take that out. Uh, it's not ideal, but otherwise the plant looks great. The third orchid, the, um, the leaves again are, are quite sort of limp, and they need a good watering. And the roots, they're the same as the first orchid, they, uh, they're they quite dry. And a few waterings, and this orchid will be, you know, good as gold, bright as rain, not a problem. Um, so, all in all, um, they might not look good initially, but they will come back beautifully. So I wanted to take another look here at um, this spike, which seems to have grown down into the bark. Uh, it's a bit odd, and I don't really want it there, so I'm going to dig it out. Uh, there's no point the plant wasting its energy producing flowers somewhere where I'm not going to enjoy them. So uh, a bit of surgical work, and I, um, and I managed to extract that. So I'm just going to cut that all the way down. I want to cut that below the lowest node, because otherwise it will just try and produce another spike from the lowest node. So if we cut it all the way down, that won't happen. Now, the uh, the orchids, um, they're, they're super cheap. They will come back really, really well. And if you want to subscribe to the channel now, then you can follow along on the progress, and I'll do an update of them at some point. Um, but uh, they, they will produce new flowers very easily, and I've got them for a bargain. All they need now is about a third of a glass of water each, and that should do the trick. So subscribe to the channel, uh, check out the other videos, and thank you for watching.